Hi, y'all. So, this is my week 15th, and I am like two days late. It's Thursday, August 15th, and my two weeks was the 13th. So, not my two weeks. <laughs> my 15th week was two days ago on the 13th. Okay. So, a couple things. I've been reporting fainting, collapsing, dizzy, no idea, idea. I have passed out again on the 13th, two days ago, and, um, yeah. I was home on my couch, watching TV, yada, yada, and suddenly I just wake up on the floor. I was so exhausted, I didn't realize what was going on, I just crawled back on the couch and fell asleep there. When the boyfriend found me, a couple hours later, I was out cold, couldn't wake up, yada, yada, yada. and I'm a light sleeper. So, um, last night, my the nurse called from the doctor's office to see what's going on with me to check up, and, and I explained to them what's been going on. And I also find out something interesting. This past weekend, from Friday to Sunday, I was out of town, out in the country, um, out camping and such. So I was outdoors pretty much Friday to Sunday the whole time. And I was fine. No dizzy spell, no fainting, no tiredness, nothing. I was completely hyper-go-lucky, bouncing up the wall. Me. With very little sleep I had. It was kind of cold. Yeah, but we're in camping, actual tent on the ground with a air mattress, camping, and I barely got to sleep, and I still had energy, I still was on the go, 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 and no problem eating, no problem drinking, obviously small portions, still, I'm not going to say I was eating large round meal, but, like, I ate a uh, shish kebab with steak and lots and lots and lots of grilled veggies, and I had no problem eating the vegetables, and I, was, I don't eat, like, a, that much steak. Because it is tough. But, like, the vegetable, I had no problem getting down. I was loving life with the vegetable, especially my, my onions. I, I'm, yes, I'm sh I'm um, Fiona. I'm an ogre. I love onions, but anyways. <laughs> and yes, I am that one person that eats raw onions and garlic. Yeah, I prefer it cooked, but I can eat it. And it tastes yummy to me. Anyways, besides that. <laughs> Moving on. Um, so it's some concern that it happens to do with this house. Why am I sick? Because I come back Sunday afternoon. I was tired and exhausted because obviously I didn't sleep for the whole weekend. And oh, speaking of that, I've been up since 9. And it's 1.35. I shouldn't be yawning or tired, but this house does this to me. I wasn't like this all weekend. Monday came around, and I, once again, the rapid heart rate, the dizziness started again. Um, Tuesday was worse. I couldn't get anything down. Every time I tried to drink something, I was drinking out of an 8-ounce bottle of water, and it took forever just to drink that 8-ounce, take sip by sip, and no matter what I ate or drank, it didn't even bother going down. My body regurgitated back so fast that I, like... It's a good thing I live in a small, tiny house because the bathroom is so close. It, it was ridiculous. It was very difficult for me to get anything down. And a couple of, and besides that, this part is going to be a little detailed and gross. So if you don't want to hear anything gross, I will like mute this for like a minute. I'll try to keep it under a minute or maybe a couple of seconds. But anyways, um, I wasn't able to go to the bathroom, number two. I'm trying to keep it clean for about seven days. And I think that's one of the biggest issues I had um, when it came to eating something. Like, it was so backed up that I couldn't eat or drink. Yesterday, I finally had that cleared off. So, <laughs> I was taking um, stool softener for a couple of days to help. And I guess it helped. But, yeah, when I, it was just so bad this week. Like, ugh. I go. Excuse me, I'm sorry for all that. I'm always yawning in my videos. Um, like I said, I shouldn't be doing that. Like, I just had some food, and... Yeah. Speaking of food, I have did add a uh, food to my diet, which I'm loving life because of it. Um, wraps. I eat it once in a blue moon, but if I crave, like, a sandwich, like a tuna sandwich, or maybe a turkey sandwich, I use a small portion of a wrap, and it's awesome. Um, I don't 
really touch bread. I know a lot of people say don't touch bread ever again, or they wait three, six months to a year to eat a bread. Um, I try eating a bread on the weekend when I had toast and eggs. Uh, like, I was happy to finally eat toasted bread. I always eat bread whole wheat. Um, but my stomach didn't like the way it feels, so I cannot not touch that. But the tortilla, um, wraps, things are good. I eat wheat. Keep it on the light side. Mm-hmm. Um, that's once in a blue moon. It's not every day or anything like that. Um, so that's that. I don't know what else to say on here. Oh, yeah, my stats. Almost forgot. Yay! Um, my first goal, is, as I mentioned before previously in many, many videos ago, is 250. That's my first goal, followed by 200 and then 180, or 220 and then 180. I, I haven't really figured that out, but 250 was definitely my first goal. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lanta. Um, <laughs> oh, that was a loud one. I'm sorry. Um,. I am, as of today, 251.8. So I'm 1.8 pounds away from my goal. And if once I hit that or go below that, I am going to be doing cartwheels up and down the street. So if you live in my neighborhood and you see the crazy, chunky girl going up and down the street doing cartwheels, that will be me. Take pictures. I don't care. Send it to me. It will be hilarious. But I want to do cartwheels. I probably won't, but I'm going to say I am. <laughs> I probably actually won't do cartwheels until I'm like 200. Um, by the way, side note, I was a gymna um, gymnast when I was younger, so I do know how to do cartwheels. It just scares the crap out of me being heavy and trying to do cartwheels, and my arms might break. So I have twisted and sprained my wrists from doing it when I was like 220-ish, 230. So, and besides the point, my brother kind of walked in and scared the crap out of me, but that might be the reason why I sprained my wrist. But besides that, I am scared doing it as a heavy person, but I will attempt it. I will go to the park where it's soft landing, make sure no no dog, you know, left behind, no dog mess, and do cartwheels. Although the dog mess might help with the landing. Nah, too gross. <laughs> um... So that's that. Um, my I I get confused between the day of surgery's weight because the beginning journey was 316, the day of surgery was 305. I go back and forth between 306 and 305, but it is 305. I've been checking my notes lately. It is 305. So uh, I get confused between 316 and 305. The five and a six, five six. I'm just gonna take a nap now. <laughs> I don't even feel that tired. I just keep on yawning. I don't even feel that tired. You can tell by the way I talk. Um, I know people complain about hair and oh, I'm going to say again, oh, my lanta is super thin on top. It is super, super thin. There's a perk. My hair doesn't go an afro puff when it's humid. Just get a little tiny oomph, but not whoosh. But it's like the way it feels. And the constant falling out, it's so annoying. I am taking... I'm just gonna... Whew. I got teary eyes now. I am taking biotin for it. And I'm still taking my multivitamin, calcium with vitamin D, additional vitamin D, and B12. And occasional as needed, which is very rare, Tylenol. Ch children's Tylenol. It's a light version, so it works for me. Um, yeah. I don't know what it's to say. My size 16, 15, well, this, these jeans I'm wearing, it's um, a size 15, 16, and it is baggy. It's a good and a bad, because I just bought these not too long ago at Goodwill, and um, worn them once. This is my second time wearing them. Worn them once, and they were nice and snugget and made my butt look pretty. Now they're falling off my butt. It made me look like I have a saggy diaper on. Not cool, man. Not cool. So, ugh. Oh, and the best thing happened this weekend? Yay. I'm going to mention it. I think I mentioned it before my video in my last. I don't remember what I put my videos. I swear, I really, really don't. I don't know if I did a video this week. I don't think so. But, anyways, while camping, I got the best compliment 
ever. By the way, I probably did this video separate, so I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to leave it like that. That's it. I'll make an additional video just about the compliment because I want it very short and sweet and simple and awesome. So, okay. So besides that, pants falling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't think of anything else to put. Oh, yeah. Sad moment. I went to LA Fitness today to cancel my membership. I know. I know. I cried a bit. But I didn't cancel it. I did not. I told everybody I was because I was going to cancel it. I went there to cancel it. I told them I want to cancel it. But they talked me out of it. When I signed up, I signed up doing a promotion because the um, place just opened up in Aronaquay where I live. And um, so I got the promotion price. I only paid $30 a month for my membership, $20 additional for guest privilege, which is two guests at a time, as many times as I want. Now, if you get guest privilege, it's $40. And I think the single membership is 35 or 40 I think 35 I want to say $35 a month, which is not that big a deal. It's $5 more, but... Oh, I swear, like a quarter of the video is just me yawning. But anyways, but now if I go like cancel my membership and then reapply, now it's going to cost me the hundred dollars to re-sign up, plus the first month, which is going to be whatever, plus the last month, which is going to be whatever. I don't have three hundred dollars to re-sign up again, so it's it cost me two hundred dollars to sign up this time because I did the initiation fee. The, Initiation fee for a hundred. My first month run, which is my first month, my first month membership fee, which is fifty, and my last month, which is fifty. So that's two hundred dollars I put down at first, and it's gonna be more if I cancel and then reapply later on. So I just put it on freeze, which is ten dollars a month. I'm gonna see how that works for about a month or two and see if I decide to go back or not. Oh. Uh. Hmm. I think I need to leave this house because this house is making me like, woo. Every time I'm in the house, I get very tired and sleepy. Maybe that's why my dog sleeps so much. Hmm. He's a hyper little rat and then he sleeps a lot. So, my nose starting to stuff up. Okay, so that's that. I'm about to hang up this video and make a new video about the awesome compliment I got this weekend. Okay, see you in a few.